Hey guys and welcome to this reaction and review video with me, Monkerman. Um so basically in this video I'm gonna give you a quick review of this GTA 5 online gameplay trailer and uh also a reaction to how I feel about GTA 5 coming out and I've been really excited over the last few days for for this uh gameplay to come out. Uh and I guess you guys are as well. Um, so I'm gonna jump straight into it and start the video. <clears throat> so it starts off with a nice bit of tunage, and you see a few helicopters and planes, which is always good. So uh, you see a bullet, which is one of my favourite cars in GTA, and probably most of you guys, and also a bike that comes past. Um, I think it might be an Akuma, but I can't be too sure. Um, right, so let's start again. Um, so you also get a lot of like new police cars in this. Like, um, I think that's a, I think that's a police buffalo kind of like so like a top range, uh, police vehicle. And also on the right, you can see a cavalcade, which is one from GTA Four, and also the buzzard coming in from the uh, right, uh, which is a really good helicopter. And uh, I love I love the uh, explosions in this. I, I uh, I've been really excited about how the explosions look, because uh, if you if you look at the way the like rockets hits the cars, it like like sets the cars flying in all different directions, which didn't really happen in GTA 4 and stuff like that, which is also a brilliant thing that they've added. It's like. Uh, Really realistic physics and stuff in the game. Um, and then, or uh, plane flying across the screen, quite low. Uh, I think that's a. Is that a burrito? I think that truck's a burrito. Um, and all that good stuff, all the skyscrapers and stuff, looking good. Um, GTA Online. A uh, few boats and stuff. I think that might be a tropic, a tugboat. I can't see the other boat, but I think this is a, a dodo that you can see flying in. And then just admit, submit, comes out from the water. Is a submarine. That's what we've all been waiting for. See if it's online. Yeah, and it is. Yeah. I'm excited. And this is another thing that I've been really waiting for to see trains come on who doesn't want trains online they added in san andreas i think well they have it on samp which is which is what i play with ethan and uh yeah I, they've got trains on that but they never had it in gta 4 which was a bit disappointing and they've got it back again which is good and uh i think that looks like a new plane i've not seen that before i think it might be a shamal but i'm not too sure Full of um, Welcome to paradise. So, if you look behind this guy, you see a poster that's got the uh, Illuminati sign. So, I'm thinking that this guy's a bit of a freak. Like, a, uh, not a bit of a freak, but uh, like, believes in all the uh, conspiracy theories and like, is a bit weird. <clears throat> but, uh, looks like on his computers he's got like all coding and stuff, so he might be like, um, the guy you go to to plan out your missions and stuff like that, maybe, but I, d I don't know. Um, um, as you can see, just before it blows up, I think it looks, it kind of looks like a Bugatti Veyron to me. Um, I can't really, I, I wouldn't know the name of it, but it looks like a uh, Bugatti Veyron, which is obviously the fastest car in the world in real life. Whether it's the fastest in the game, I don't know, but it looks pretty epic the way like everything. <laughs> For some reason, everything's exploding, but um, I guess that's just to show off all the uh, in-game physics and stuff. And uh, what I like is how fluid the game looks, even online. Like, there's no like lagging. I, I'm, I know there wouldn't be, but um, it's just nice to see that there's like no uh, lagging and problems. But uh, this is a real fluid moment, and the uh, shooting and stuff looks real, really uh, 
good. I think it's very similar to a Max Payne 3, but I haven't got the game, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I want to know how the guy got up on the roof. To be honest, and and uh, like whether you can like uh, get up there by via stairs or whatever. I don't know. But the car that he's behind is a uh, much loved uh, F six twenty, I think it's called, which is a, one of my favorite cars. So, some people might know it as the Super GT. Um, but yeah, it was a really good car in GTA four and. Liberty City and stuff like that, uh, Ballad of Gay Tony and stuff like that. Um, and also in the background you can see the car rolling away, which shows the physics. And if you look closely at when he's picking the gun, his next weapon, you see that when you're picking your gun, you can check to see the damage, fire rate, accuracy and the power, wait the can't really see, the range, sorry, of uh, the gun. Um, which is pretty good, like, in case you, uh, want to see if a bullet will kill someone from far away or whatever. Like, what the best weapon to go into combat is. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's a really good feature that they never had on GTA 4 and stuff like that. Um, did they have, I'm not sure whether they had on, uh, Red Dead Redemption. I'm not quite sure, but, um, I think it is a, really good feature to have and uh, the way the guy falls off the roof looks a lot more realistic than GTA 4 but it's I don't think it's much different but uh, it looks quite epic and uh, a big thing in this trailer that they give out like give yeah give info about is that uh, there'll be mini games online like arm wrestling tennis that you'll see later on in the video um, what else? Um, I can't remember. Um, what was it? It was arm wrestling, tennis, and golf. Golf. That's another one. Um, but yeah, the they were just something to do with your mates online or whatever, and uh, you should be good. Um, and this looks pretty amazing. The way it, like he drives off the. Uh, edge of a cliff on the motorbike and jumps off. See, I don't think you could do that properly on uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony. You could do it, but it wouldn't work as well as the way this is. And also something else that I've noticed is no parachutes are quite the same. Well, you can see the uh, rainbow ones are, but I guess that maybe you can customise your own parachutes or maybe choose what parachute you want. Something like that, maybe. And uh, so that's pretty much. And planes are gonna be massive on this. Like, there's so many new different planes that you can go in. Like, I think that looks like kind of like a parachuting plane. Like the way, like see at the bottom, it's all red. Like that's where you can jump out from. But I'm not too sure. I love the way the big roads. Um, brains. Uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. See tennis. That's our, uh, another mini game, and uh, the main thing about this uh, gameplay reveal is that Introduce it looks as though it's going to be like single player but online. So, if you ever played Samp, you'll know what I'm talking about, or watch me play Samp, whatever. You you can do a lot of single player things online, which is hopefully what you'll be able to do on this. And by the looks of it, you can. Uh, like the way you've got cutscenes online, which looks pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, so a little bit. It looks as though you'll be able to have like a big MMO kind of thing online, which is pretty good. Ending money. You need to better represent HOC, um, you know what I'm Cop chases look amazing. Um, like the police look really uh, intelligent, and. Uh, I don't know how this guy manages to get through the robot, but he does. And uh, there seems to be a lot of new helicopters and police cars and stuff. See, if you notice the uh, the police cars there are like a buffalo kind of car. It's like for a sit for the city maybe, or like on the outskirts of the city. And you'll see later on in the video that 
the police cars are different, so I'm thinking that you get different types of police, like county, like on the countryside, like off road and stuff like that. Um, you see the cheetah, it looks unbelievable. It's like, it looks like the uh, Pagani Zander, which is like the real life. Uh, Pagani Zander, like the Ferrari Enzo. It looks like that, them two cars. Um, which are pretty amazing cars, and the orange car that drives past looks like the Lamborghini Gallardo. I'm not sure what it'd be called in the game. I'm not sure, but uh, there are a lot of uh, fast cars that look pretty amazing. Um, and uh, the bikes and stuff, the shooting on the bikes look pretty cool. Um, and this has got to be one of my favourite. Uh, things about this trailer uh, gameplay is that you can team up with your mates, create a crew and uh, like go and rob a bank or whatever with your mates which is pretty amazing it's what what people have been waiting for something to do online apart from shoot civilians and other other <laughs> people on the server or whatever but this is pretty amazing it's like kind of like Red Dead Redemption where they had the hideouts and stuff but this is just taking it to another level it's pretty amazing and something that I can't wait for so I think the way it works is you can form a crew on the game or online I think that's what they did for Max Payne they had a website where you could set up a uh, crew and uh, just add people to it like whoever you want to play with or whatever I think that's how it works but I'm not entirely sure uh, I'd, ho I'd hope to think that's how it works but Maybe it's kind of like a, uh, the way it works on Battlefield, the way like you join the game and you just like choose a squad and whatever, but uh, or like a posse on uh, Red Dead Redemption. I'm not sure. I, I guess it's probably like uh, Red Dead Redemption because that'll be the easiest. But I am not sure. Not enough information to uh, tell you for definite. But uh, yeah, this looks pretty amazing. Like the way you've got to like put masks on so. Uh, for the heist and whatever. Um, you can rob liquor stores. Um, if you look at this in the gameplay trailer that you're watching right now, if you look on the fir very first trailer for GTA V, um, you look, I think it's about 2 minutes 14 or something, um, you'll see the same car, well, same car, different colours, uh, outside a similar... Uh, liquor store, um, which is pretty cool that they've linked it, and the way they get away, like, got a getaway driver and stuff. But I heard that if you're robbing a bank and you've got the money on you, uh, you can still be intercepted by other people on the server and killed, and they can take the money from you. So you've got to get back to a bank or whatever as quick as possible and uh, bank the money so no one can steal it from you. But, uh, Oh, you gotta do all that while uh, escaping from the police. Um, this looks modes. amazing. I think it's a team deathmatch. Um, yeah, it says like opponents killed or whatever in the bottom corner. It, I can't believe how fluid the game looks. It just looks amazing. It's just I can't believe it. But uh, and they they see another explosion just on the right. Um, and uh, this looks pretty amazing. Uh, it looks as though it doesn't take that many bullets to kill someone, which makes it even more realistic, which is pretty good. But it might be a bit overpowered, I don't know, you might get a bit annoyed. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Golf, another mini game. And you get stuff like this where you've got to steal uh, planes and stuff. And as you heard the woman say then, you earn money and reputation. So it may be uh, the more reputation you earn, determines your rank um don't know it, maybe the reputation is like kind of like rank points i'm not sure or maybe it's easier to get money i'm sure it'll have its uh perks and stuff by having a higher reputation um uh, but i think money is going to be like the biggest fa i know it is in most games but i think this game pretty much is money because, like, you buy cars, buy airplanes, helicopters, um, apartments, uh, stocks, uh, 
real estate, whatever, you, like whatever you name it, you've got to use money to buy it. So, uh, missions and robbing banks and shops and stuff is going to be uh, pretty essential in this game because money is one of the main factors. Um, so you see, like a few jeeps and like the way you've got to drive the plane out and fly away <laughs> to get away. That's that's pretty epic. But uh, the way they have like lightning and stuff is good. The way they've got like real life uh, uh, weather and stuff. But I know they've had that on GTA 4, but it looks a lot more uh, epic in this. And uh, what we've all been waiting for is this. It's like single player but online, as I said before. The way you can choose your hair and also choose your clothes is amazing. Because like, see, see the way you've got to pay real money. Uh, well, not real money, but in-game money, but uh, money that you you got from doing missions and robbing banks or whatever. So, which makes me think that uh, money is pretty essential. And buying clothes, and as you see here, him here uh, uh, shooting his pistol. Weapon. I think you can customize pistols to make them uh, automatic or a semi-automatic or a single ray file, whatever. But I think that might be a G18, so that's already a uh, like a G18 type gun, so that's already uh, automatic, I think. Um, customized vehicles online, I think that's what that uh, scene represents. And as you can see, it's like Mustang type car coming out. I'm not. I think it looks like a new car. I've not seen it before. I asked my friends; they've not seen it before. And uh, it looks like a pretty epic car. I've got to admit, like a proper racing car, drag race car. And pretty cool. Uh, yeah, see a buzzard flying across. You'll notice all, all the way through this uh, gameplay reveal, you'll see a lot of helicopters, planes, awesome cars and stuff, which makes me think that online is going to be massive and you'll have like, uh, I, I don't know how many people, but I'm going to guess it's probably more, uh, more than 30, 50, I don't know. But uh, I think it's going to be pretty big servers. Depending on uh, how they can, how people like people's PS3s or whatever can handle it, I'm not sure how how it works. But uh, on Samp, you can have up to a thousand people playing at a time, which is pretty good. So hopefully they'll have something as good as that. But if not, I won't be too disappointed. But it'll be better to have a lot more people in the game. There's a lot more excitement, so it'll happen. Uh, as you notice here. So you can buy apartments. That is amazing. So it looks as though this is a pretty expensive, like luxurious apartment. Um, so I guess this costs a lot of money. Uh, maybe you can buy camper vans or uh, like living on trailer park or buy a house or live with your mates or whatever. I don't know. Um, uh, but I'm so happy to see that that this is like a new aspect in the game, and I can't wait to uh, see what you can do with it. So like that that's the scene from uh like that window I think is from the gameplay where they show us a little teaser. Which um uh, this is looks unreal for me. Um I'm not sure what this car is. It says atomic on the wheel, it says XF on the side of the car, I don't know what it is. It looks pretty amazing. It looks kind of uh like the Bugatti Veyron like we've seen before, but I'm not entirely sure. That looks like a Sentinel across that blue one. Two Infernuses. I can't I think that looks like a Rune in the corner. Uh like I think that's a Newcastle, that white one. And as you'll see in the back right, that's a monster truck I think. And I I'm glad it's back. And I don't think there was one in GTA four. I don't think there was. Was there? I don't think there was, but uh, anyway, I'm glad it's in the game because they, they were fun to drive around in in San Andreas and hopefully we'll be re reunited. And uh, I think that uh, is a Dukes in the corner, but I'm not entirely sure. It might just be a new one. Um, it look, all these now races, races look unbelievable. Like, the look like the filled with excitement and like the uh, fluid and I've said that a lot but 
online on GTA 4 races were epic and hopefully these are going to be even more epic. And you can do races in planes. I think you could do that on GTA 4. Um, but these look amazing. Like the way you can explode other people's planes and shoot them and whatever. Jet skis, that's going to be another thing. And uh, low riders, you're going to have uh, a big selection of low riders and stuff in the game, I think, because I've seen a few of them. Uh, a few old ones that are coming back. And uh, all stuff like that. Limos in the background, you'll see. Uh, all I'm coming back, Everything quad bikes and Sanchez's and stuff like that. They they look like uh, pretty fun to drive around in. Um, I can't wait to uh, drive around on, on these hills and stuff. It looks so amazing. Like even the scenery looks so epic and stuff. I can't, I actually can't wait to drive around in the game. I want to see how it feels and stuff. through the world, introducing you to new characters. Now keep your mouth shut about me, here. And now you can shoot while parachuting, which is a pretty good thing to have in the game. And uh, me and my friend uh, Ethan, we, we were on Skype together, we watched this and he said that he thought this looked a bit like uh, Michael's house, kind of. Like, see where the white car is there on the right? That looks like kind of where on the gameplay... I think was it the gameplay where you see like it zoom in from above it lo and you look at the map it looks quite similar I'm not sure but it looks pretty similar um, so there's a jet I think that's the hider looks uh, a lot like it uh, where you can do like cluster bombs and stuff on people's houses um, alright uh, as you'll notice here, you're on a website, Elitist Travel, and you can buy airplanes. See, the, it's a Shamal, which is quite a uh, luxurious airplane, and it's one million one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which I guess isn't quite realistic, but it's more realistic than uh, I was expecting. I was expecting like to be like ten tens of millions, but. I guess that's an achievable uh, amount of money that you can get to get a plane, but I'm not sure whether you'd need to have um, an airport or like a garage to store your uh, airplane. I'm not entirely sure how it how it will work, but yeah, I think money will be more realistic and like buying haircuts. I think were like a hundred dollars, which is quite realistic. I guess I'm not sure how much a hundred dollars is. I think it's like uh, sixty pounds. Uh, which is, I guess, quite realistic for a uh, haircut. Brett, yeah, I can't wait for this game. It looks absolutely amazing. Rockstar will be constantly developing more content so, for you to enjoy. So another thing is you can create your own races. That looks absolutely amazing. Like the way you can, I think you can put them online, and uh, for other people to play, and you can play other people's, which should be good. I, I don't know how big of a race you can make hopefully uh, I think it says down the checkpoints 1 of 68 so wow <laughs> so you can create checkpoints 60 up to 68 checkpoints I think and uh, maybe you can do it around the whole map I'm not entirely sure but that would be pretty cool to uh, have one going right, right the way around the map and your own races and also you can do death matches you can choose where uh weapons spawn and even where cars spawn uh it looks pretty epic uh, i think the same applies for that as like you can put them online and other people can access them play yours and you can play theirs and all stuff like that using the content creator and uh rpg one of the most loved uh, weapons in gta and uh, there's the, uh, is that called the, what's that called, the Bandito, Bandito that's called, um, that's a bring car for lights on sand dunes and stuff, and uh, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty epic the way, like, uh, you can customise pretty much everything and make it how you want it, how you want to drive it and stuff like that, um, 
uh, safety trucks like that, I guess, if you blow them up, or maybe you can hijack them and rob the money inside them. I'm not entirely sure if that's something in the game, but that'd be cool if you could, like, uh, maybe while the uh, driver's getting the donuts, you rob the truck or whatever. That'd be good. Um, the Ruiner, a few bikes, Grand and this looked pretty epic, the way he's just, like, pulled, uh, just lowered his uh, helicopter in front of the plane, uh, in front of the truck, and he's about to blow it up. Um, but uh, the cops look quite intelligent, the way like they've swerved in and out of cars and stuff. The way you can do that, because in GTA 4 they'd normally just crash into the back of that car and uh, probably fall out or whatever. Um, but uh, as you can see here, as I said before, you've got white police cars. They're not, they don't look like the buffaloes that we've seen before, and uh, they kind of look like the old ones on a uh, GTA 4. What were they called? The I can't remember what it's called, like the cru police cruiser or whatever it was called. And uh, the Mavericks following behind and a buzzard. Uh, looks pretty epic, I've got to admit. And uh, yeah, I can say now that that looks unbelievable. But uh, one sad thing that I did notice, well, I, I didn't notice it, but one of my friends pointed out to me that sadly it's not going to be out till the 1st of October that's what it says in the description of the video uh, which is a shame because you want to play it straight away after, as soon as you get the game but I guess that if it gives it like I think it's about 15 days or 14 days something like that um, since, it, since GTA comes out for the uh, release of the online whether it's going to be a DLC, I don't know, uh, or just an update. Um, hopefully, mo a lot of people will have the game by then. So, a lot of people will be wanting to get online, and you'll be playing games that are full, instead of uh, just with a few people. But hopefully, it won't crash. Because I know that like with a lot of new games, big games, like especially with GTA 5, that the game hasn't come out, uh, GTA hasn't come out in a good few years. A lot of people will be wanting to play it, so hopefully it won't crash, but um, I'll, rocks are quite reliable, so um, I can rely on them to uh, give us a good experience with the online and stuff like that. Um, so I'm really excited about uh, GTA 5 coming out. It comes out in like 31 days, something like that. Uh, are, you, are you excited for it? Tell me in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this reaction and review video. Um, I've been Monk Command. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.